time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to blank. Hey. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Hour Live, May 15th. Wednesday, May 15th, VIX is getting a little bit crushed, down to 12.68, S&P up 53, NASDAQ up 264, Russell up 19, Dow up 274, gold and silver both up, notes and bonds both up, 10-year yield down, oil up, natty gas down, grains down, euro and the pound green, and Bitcoin green. So, what have I done today? I've been pretty light on trades. Uh, it's been a pretty decent day. I, I did have one full price action stop out. I've got my last one. So, just two trades there. My last one is letting it cook, as the kids say. And then um, on my PM tranches slash um, update trades, I've just been pretty light. I, uh, my bots still are not functional on this account. And so I've just been keeping it light. I've been working on and trading some different transformer stuff. And so that is pretty much it. We've got up day for power hour. S and is currently at 0.7% from the open. So those will fire in my, uh, challenge portfolio. And then I will be adding some other update positions here in this account as well during power hour. So that is my day. Chad, how's the TLC crew? Well, for me, it's been okay. Um, I, my TLC account had a uh, one, uh, no, I didn't. That wasn't in that account. Uh, I had a AM one that was fully stopped. Um, then I booked 20% on one that was, um, stopped. And now I've booked 40% and that one's still cooking. So I'm still a little bit in the red and, uh, you know, there hasn't, there hasn't been a lot of price movement, which has been great. Problem is, is like, there's no premiums and it's so it's hard to get into a new one. Um, so only three trades today in my second account, I've had a, uh, I had a full stop and then I had a uh, one that broke even and I've got one that is currently trading at 220 that I haven't taken any contracts off because it's, just right of center. So letting it cook. So I am a little green in that account. Thanks to the, that one. Oh, and I did a one DTE in this count and I booked 32%. I cut half my contracts and then on the push up, I booked, uh, closed the rest for about 25%. So that one DT is keeping me green on that account too. Gotcha. All right, so I just went in with tranche number one on the 5300 straddle. Two to one puts the calls. Been chopping around this 5300 level for a good portion of the afternoon. Let's 
Let's see. I'm getting close to reducing my stop on a couple of these. Let me see here. Yeah, this one. Stop loss to five bucks here. And that's it for now. All right. So I'm locked and loaded with my uh, afternoon two to ones and then my first power hour two to one. I also got in on the 5300 straddle, 20 wide. Just choppy, choppy, choppy. It'd be nice. Take it home for the day. Yeah, luckily I did not. Uh, I did not participate in that first run up, although I did get. Uh, yeah, I did get stopped out of one of my price action trades. Even though I, I waited all the way up until about yeah, 950 central. Mm -hmm. Took a 1-2 DTE earlier. That one is up a tiny bit. My rut 1 DTE hedge trade. It's in the valley. The other one from yesterday's pretty red. Pretty red in the valley. Both of those, could, or that one could use an up move to close the day. NDX, my NDX trade is out of bounds. Unless we come down, that one's going to be a loss. Yeah, I uh having a little little Schwab issues getting my other account linked up. Hopefully by tomorrow. Ah, oh, there you go, Wooga. I haven't That's been to that new airport uh, about six yeah, months. Yeah, I've flown out of it, but I haven't seen that. Yeah, I don't know where that's at either. That's cool. I'll have to find that next time I'm there. Looks like are you in the bathroom? They have beer taps in the bathroom. <laughs> of course, when I, when I go there, it's like I'm racing to get on a plane. And when I get back from there, I'm racing to get home. Vic's low today was 12.6, currently at 12.63. I 
need about 20 cents to book 60% on my uh, lunchtime number one. Bitcoin up 7% today. That's probably quite a bit. There we go. There's 60% of lunchtime number one. So I got... One contract left there. Fifty three oh five new all time high today, my friends. Getting close to reducing stop on a couple of these. <clears throat> There's a lot to keep track of without bots. Forgot how uh, how much you got to keep track of. Reducing well, stops. Man. I got to do that with a bot, but. So I got in at 995. Six. Six bucks. So my tranche two going at uh, 14 after. So here in about 10 minutes. The at the money fifty three hundred butterflies trading at about a buck forty five right now, buck forty. Some homes should definitely be in play, barring a big move between now and now and the end.
Yeah, days are my favorite too, White Tiger. I feel a little light on positions based on it being an up day, but that's okay. VIX at lows of day. Way straddles hold their premiums. My uh, my last price action position is trading for about a dollar forty. Got a uh, order to close that at a dollar. Wooga, where are you heading? Are you just, is that a layover in Casey? Maybe Wooga's just, uh, maybe Wooga's not on the live stream. Yeah, I bet he's not in, I bet he's not in the live stream. So 5,300 is a magnet today, that's for sure. Yeah, I've kind of noticed that too. I just wanted to run there and then stuck. Might be able to turn this into a small green day if it cooperates. Uh, yeah, I use PDQ on everything. And then trailing stops, which are not PDQ. I believe they're automatically turbo, if I'm not mistaken. Fast. Okay. Mm -hmm. I wonder why they did that for the trailing. Why would they why would they make it fast, I wonder?
Uh, discount, I have them spaced out a little bit. So in my challenge portfolio, I've got them at one thing and then my other kind of, and then the between the three, two and the one to one, I've kind of, kind of, I got them kind of spaced out 15, 30 seconds between, between them. Significant strike selection differences between between accounts. Um, not necessarily, because the other the other part of that is, um, you know, it's got to wait for the VIX print before it can determine that filter. So sometimes that doesn't come until nine thirty two or or after and so you know then they'll all fire at the same time if that if that's the case Madam Butterfly in the 5300 straddle hitting 20%. Nice. Still a ways away. Yeah, sometimes I'll get um I'll get multiple fills. Like it gets filled partial and then it'll go back in and its price has moved, so it'll have to cancel replace and use different strikes. I've had that happen as well several times gives you the little checkered flag on your dashboard all right tranche two coming up looks like it's the good old 5300 again There was a little theta, theta bit uh, decay there. So at eight fifteen,
Getting a little two point bounce away from 5,300. And I feel a lot better if my straddle hit 50 or 20% before it moves anymore. Tranche two, I'll reduce at 490. Tranche one, I'll reduce at $6. It's currently at 760. VIX continuing to hit the new lows. The low on the 10th was uh, 12.5, getting close, and the low on December 12th was 11.81. That was December 12th, you said? December 12th, yep. Okay. Oh. Huh. Yeah, it was pretty low back then. What do we got cooking tomorrow? Anything with the uh, like speakers? Tomorrow is the 16th Thursday. We've got unemployment claims pre-market. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. Along with some building permits, Philly Fed, industrial production. FOMC member Barr speaks at 9 a.m. Central. And then Mester at 11 a.m. and Bostic 10 minutes before the bell. It's not too bad. What time was the second one you said? Uh, bar is at 9 a.m. Yeah, uh, what was the second one? Mester is at 11 a.m. Okay. He'd be the only one I'd worry about because probably won't be any trades by nine. Well, I might be in one. And then 10 minutes Till the bell rings, I mean, the last one. Yeah, that's high enough. NASDAQ just hit all-time highs. Don't think you need to go there, SPX. You're going to go there, aren't you? <laughs> You're going to go there. NDX, huh? Yeah. 18604.
Oh, yeah. At once, it's all time high. Another one. Don't do it. Don't do it. Park it. Park it right here. Incredible. Just reducing my uh, PM tranche stops. They've hit 50%. Uh, Naughty Dog, the only, yeah, the only thing I did was uh, PM tranches and update power hour. Yeah, they're two to one, so they all survive. They're all doing good. It's creeping up, though. Tranche three in one minute. Like we may get five wide for tranche three. Tranche three, the O fives and the O O's filled at four sixty five. Yeah, the market hasn't really gone anywhere since they're Naughty Dog. I'm not sure why they would have not performed well. Mine are all over 50%. ASDFJK, sem JKL semicolon. That used to be my grade school typing class. <laughs> I uh I was an elite typer in high school. <laughs> uh, my typing I think I got up name, to like I don't know thirty or forty words a minute. Oh, I was like over seventy. Um, <laughs> my typing teacher's name was Mrs. Vaughn. God rest her soul, Veronica Vaughn. Um, no, 
but she, yeah, she's an old lady. She hated me. And so in the springtime, Peru State College, it's a small college close to where my hometown is, um, they had a, they had like a business competition. And, uh, you know, I was an athlete, but probably my behavior was subject to be questioned, you know, sometimes. But I said, hey, I want to go do this business thing. I'm the, one of the fastest typers in the school. She wouldn't she wouldn't take me because of my behavior. She was worried I was going to like jack around at this business competition. <laughs> I was like, I was crushed. <laughs> like, I was like, come on, Mrs. Vaughn. I, I promise I'll be good. You just you didn't get to showcase your typing skills. No, huh? no, she no, she wouldn't take me. Sounds like it's a big regret in your life. Oh man. I, I sit here and type all the time. I think about that. I'm like, how fast I'm <laughs> typing. <laughs> we had this senior in our class because he needed it to graduate. Man, he gave her a hard time. Lit one of her textbooks on fire in the back of the room. <laughs> Man, we treated her bad. Yeah, PTSD. Yeah. NDX still pushing. Trunch one's yeah. up about twenty six percent. Trunch two's up twelve. Trunch three's up four. I've considered taking 10, half of mine off 10% here. It's just worried it's going to rip back up through highs. Wouldn't take much of a down move, I can tell you that. Yeah. To hit, to be hit me. Beautiful. Yeah, you should have become, you should have become a typing teacher. Oh man. I don't even think they teach it anymore. Oh really? Sure seems well, like well they even probably more of do a skill than it was when we were kids. I know. I don't know that my boys have taken it. You know, one's in eighth grade, one's a freshman, so I think maybe they do some stuff in elementary school now where we used to do it in high school. I like chat, huh? That's a good one. There's a little they theta just, coming they learn, in. They learn voice chat now is what they do. Yeah, no kidding. My youngest, man, we, his mom and I took his phone away for a week um, for being disrespectful to me and his coach at, the football, at a baseball game a few weeks ago. Man, he was crushed because he lost his phone. Yeah, they it was like he wasn't going to survive. Oh, there's there's twenty percent on my straddle. Beautiful. So 280 is what I'm looking for on tranche three. Oh, it's the best, it's the best sound ever, White Tiger. <laughs> TLC stands for type like Chad. All right, Trunch one's getting close. <clears throat> Had a nice Baidu Mighty 90 today, this morning.
It's right, big. It'll be like you just you just think about iron condors and they'll pop up on your platform. <laughs> What's the big stand for? Is it, are those like initials? Big Daddy. Big Papa? Big Profits. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Trench number one. It's going to get reduced down to four dollars. Stay down there. I'd feel a lot better if this just came down to 5,300. Madam Butterfly, are you just announcing your presence? Here, roll call. Madam Butterfly in the house. I think I'll be getting out of my straddle by 245 today. Unless it comes down to fifty three hundred here soon. I saw that, madam. That's that gnarly. A 5305 pin would be worth a couple thousand to my one of my transformers. I can't show it to you because it's on my other computer and I can't can't get to it on this Schwab platform. It's under a different login. All right, so let's see. We've got 23 minutes to go. I'm not going to have any strikes available here, but the at the money's butterfly is trading for about a dollar 75. I have to do that in my trader account. It's still coming down.
All right, I've got a uh, 5300 and a 5305 Mahomes fly working. Oh, so close on tranche one to getting 40%, but not quite there. Ten cents away from being able to reduce my stop on tranche one. Pushing back up. Oh, five short butterflies are close to getting filled with 19 minutes to go. Ooh, it's pretty hot discount. Tranche three's up thirty percent, tranche one's up thirty percent, tranche two's up twenty percent. Need price to simmer back down a little bit. Yeah, I might be close to my straddle here. I have a feeling this is just going to keep ripping.
filled partial on my 05 butterfly. Let's close a couple of my PM tranches here. There we go, filled at two bucks. Go ahead and close my screen. Just don't want to see a big push here and be in it to finish up. All right, so I got my verticals locked in. Still haven't hit 40%. Get close on tranche three now. MOC in about two minutes. Crunch three at 40%. There we go. Reducing stop on tranche three.
One point six billion sell side. Reduce stop on tranche one. I need her to come back down a little bit. Yeah, 5,300 would be perfect. Lock in my Mahomes, hit everything else. What are you still in, Chadwick? You got some 5,300 straddles? Chad must be off typing somewhere. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> I got to flip my mic down. <clears throat> I've got a 5,300 straddle on my second account. And I closed it on my, I closed my 5,300 on my TLC account for 20%. And as long as price stays below 5305, I'll book max profit on one of the iron condors from I put on this morning. Or it's probably late morning. Gotcha. Seven minutes to go. It just feels like it wants to give us one last little rip, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I'd prefer a little dip, but yep. Same, same. There she goes, new highs.
All right, five till. I'm going to close my tranche three. It's like I've stumped out of tranche. Yeah, close tranche three for small profit. Add a tranche two for small profit. I'll let tranche one ride. It's probably going to get stopped for a profit. Yep, stopped. All right, so now I just need uh, getting close to four bucks on my vertical. If we give it one more little push, partial fill. Madam Butterfly has probably taken all my, there we go, filled. So that was on the, Well, I just had a $3 slippage on that push. So that's no good. So let's see, what am I inputting wrong here? Oh, there we go. So I've got $2,000 locked in on my homes. Or if we tank in the last two minutes, which it doesn't appear that's going to happen, maybe book more. Yeah, so my this is this will be interesting or not interesting, but some TLC traders were talking about this about taking one to max profit. So there, I I had one that was it got down to a dollar fifty, and my stop on it was like four something. Well, on that little push up there, it took it it took it to seven seventy. So just learned a lesson there that I could have taken that off for a big profit. It turned out to be a big loss because it didn't hit my stop. Wait, it didn't hit your stop. Why? <clears throat> I don't know. It, it, it went past my stop $3. I had the, st I had a stop on at, let me see here. We go back to it. I had a stop at 470 <clears throat> for 10 contracts um, cuz I lowered it and price was like at a buck 50 and let's see yeah cuz I got I got filled at like 610 on that trade and instead of filling at 470 and stopping me out that would have been a really decent still decent profit 
it went past it three bucks and stopped me at uh, seven. Yeah, you must not have had a bid on one of your strikes. Yeah, it must have been. Yeah, that vertical S helped the Mahomes here. So it'll be a two thousand dollar profit on a twenty lot. One of my other transformers that I'm looking at on my other screen of booked about sixteen hundred on one of my not pin, but inside the free fly. All right, my friends. Pretty good day overall, considering. Uh, tomorrow is the 16th. Chad will be streaming live in the morning for Mighty 90 and Runners. And then we'll be back for Power Hour. I will be coming from a meeting. And so Chad will be starting and I'll try to jump on, but I may be a little bit late if the, if the meeting runs late. So everybody have a good night. <clears throat> Chat with you soon.